to my channel. I wanted to share about my brow tutorial, my current brow tutorial in today's video. I feel like my brow tutorial and products that I use is changing ever so often. I do want to laminate them and tint them. I actually bought some products on Amazon. I haven't done that in a while, but I've been kind of like, I don't know, unhappy with my brows, I guess you can say. It's been a season of not the best brow and then I kept seeing these ads on snapchat for the thrive cosmetics it's like a fiber brow mascara of sorts it was an ad and in the ad the girl was using um, a brow pencil to outline her brows and then that thickening mascara brow mascara brow gel to fill it in and I was like hmm let me try that because I have products that are similar I have the NYX micro brow pencil which I actually love the NYX micro brow pencils and I have this one in cool ash brown and then I have the thicket stick it Thickening Brow Mascara from NYX as well, and this one I have in shade Taupe. When I tried this on its own, I honestly didn't like it, so I just put it in my drawer and never really used it, but then I tried it in, with this technique, and I really liked the outcome. There are still some days where I'm like, oh, my brows are not cooperating with me, I'm not happy with them, but for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this technique as of late. So try it, you might like it. These products are fairly affordable, so I just wanted to share it in a video as well. By the way, how fun are these purple lashes? I have some accent purple lashes from My Life Street. They now have colored lashes. I have a video coming on that. The video is probably live right now, but what I usually do when I do my brows is I will brush my brow hairs upward, kind of like so, so they're not all over the place, and then I will outline them. That's just what I usually do, and she does the same thing in the video. She outlines them first, and the reason why I outline them is because my brows are not the same shape. This one's a little bit more rounded, this one's more like an angry brow. I don't have a perfectly symmetrical face. It is what it is, so what I do is I outline them, and I try to create an outline that will give me fairly symmetrical brows. They're still not like completely symmetrical, but I outline them so that they at least appear a lot more symmetrical. So I'll usually start at the front of the brow. You want to be very light-handed with this because you don't want like really harsh lines. And the micro brow pencil, I would say it's fairly pigmented. I love this cool ash brown color because it is very cool toned. It has like no warmth to it at all. For some people it might be even too cool toned. But I like it. I feel like the color taupe. I used to always use that, but that one's a little too warm for my liking right now. And then I'll do the top. It looks crazy right now, but you have to trust the process. As you guys can tell, I outlined above where my brow hairs are, and then a little bit below. And because I don't have any hairs here, there's not gonna be anything for the fibers in this thicket stick it to grab onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and very lightly kind of fill those areas in. I'm not gonna touch the front of the brow, just those areas where I literally have no brow hairs. I need them to be filled in, otherwise the thickest thickening fiber mascara, it's not really gonna do much in those areas. And then I'm gonna go with the thicket stick it brow mascara here a little mascara wand with fibers in it and then starting at the tail of the brow i start to fill it in using this product so i'll use the tip and i'll kind of brush them in the direction that i want because this sets the brows as well so you don't want to brush them in the direction where you're not where you don't want them to sit so you want to make sure you're brushing them in the direction where they're going to be sitting because this does set it almost immediately and then I work my way towards the front of the brow. And you want to be very light-handed because this can deposit a lot in like glops sometimes. Sometimes there's like blobs of it. So just make sure you're distributing it evenly and not doing too much in one spot. All right, so that is one eyebrow done. Pretty happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and do the second eyebrow. Get some of that off the tip so it's not too goopy. And then again, starting at the tail brush the brow hairs and fill it in at the same time and then i work towards the front very light-handed at the front because this will deposit color like i said first time i tried it i was not happy with it and i was like Ugh, i don't really like how this works but with the outlining technique and then using this to fill in i have just been really liking it if you find that there are some outlines that are a little bit too harsh you can gently buff them out just be careful not to smear everything and then I kind of like to press my eyebrow hairs down for like a laminated look because my brow hairs always lift off of my skin.
skin. But this is the end result pretty much. It's fairly simple, very easy, and it gives me pretty decent brows that I'm happy with. So I wanted to share it in a video. A bad brow day is like a bad hair day. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, let me know what you guys think. Try it, the products themselves are fairly affordable. I get mine on Amazon, I'll link them down below, as well as the shades. But for reference, I have Cool Lash Brown and then Taupe for the Picking Mascara. But I hope you guys enjoyed this mini tutorial of sorts i give credit to whoever did the thrive cosmetics ad if you know her at or whatever tag her because i got this technique from her it's not something that i came up with and i've just been really liking it so i wanted to share as well but thank you for watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in future videos